Hi, here I am standing in front of my wardrobe. Uh, I want to talk you through a little bit about how I store things in my wardrobe, how I categorize things. One of the first steps I do with the majority of my one-on-one -on -one styling clients is a wardrobe audit. So I want to talk you through a little bit about what that entails and give you a little bit of a tour of my wardrobe, um, just so you can see how I um, practice some of the principles that I preach, I guess. I want to talk to you about categorization. I want to talk to you about storage. And I want to talk to you about how I plan my wardrobe and how I go through it and do a good wardrobe audit. If a wardrobe declutter is in your wheelhouse, it's something that you want to do. I've also got a free ebook um, that can help you declutter that. So you can find the link to that um, in the link in my bio. Um, so let's have a look at my wardrobe. Okay, this is the main wardrobe, and yes, I say the main wardrobe because there are multiples, but what I really wanted to show you guys was a couple of things, how I categorize things. Um, so if you see up here, this whole area up here is all basically all my tops, um, except for like my casual t-shirts and stuff like that, um, except for hubby's jacket there. You'll notice that all the hangers are the same. I love these velvet hangers from Kmart. Everything sticks on them. They fit really easily. But what I do in terms of the categories of tops is I categorize them by um, sleeve length. So at the start, here I have got all of like the shoestring camis but I've also then got all my sequins together so I've categorized all my sequins um, I don't have a lot of like kind of sleever styles but then I've gone through to t-shirts printed kind of button-up shirts button-up shirts knits and some jackets there so within the category of tops I've then sub categorized it what I tend to do as well is then sub sub categorize it in color so here are all my like sheer white shirts um, and then the black ones so they kind of go within colors there same with jackets kind of like a rainbow so short sleeve jackets through to all the bright colors there and then dresses same thing I've kind of got short sleeve dresses shoestring straps short string dresses long sleeve dresses but short long sleeve dresses that makes sense um, but they're kind of all categorized um, and then off the shoulder things here I've also categorized a couple of my matching sets together um, because if I want to wear a matching set they are all kind of categorized together so that's how I like to compartmentalize like I said these hangers are great I'll show you one without um, clothes on them too but they just fit everything in really well um, obviously I've got a lot shoved into my wardrobe um, because you know job hazard but if you can space things out um, so things can breathe and you can see them that's always a really good idea so if you use kind of the finger rule so what you want to be able to do is kind of have finger space between each hanger so things have got room to breathe you can see them they're not getting squashed it means less ironing people I'm all about being low maintenance shoes I do love me a clear plastic shoe container um, but also some of these like shoe boxes like the Frankie 4 ones are also super easy to pull out on their own as well obviously it allows you to see the shoes too um, yeah so this wardrobe is really good for shoes what I find is keeping them in their boxes or in a plastic container like these protects the shoes a little bit more rather than having them all shoved on top of each other the advantage of the the clear tubs, um, the clear boxes, is that they all stack together evenly as well. So you're not having to play a bit of Tetris, kind of like I am over here. They all just stack really nicely. And obviously you can see what is in the shoe box. So that's my main wardrobe. Of course, I have clothes in other places. I'm gonna show you a couple of other bits and pieces next. Okay, this is my t-shirt drawer. So this is kind of more t-shirts that are a bit more cash. These are those beautiful singlets that I love. I've got them in all of the colors here. So having that file folding system means I can kind of, um, it's a bit messy actually, I can kind of find everything I'm looking for rather than being stacked on top of each other. I did get this little um, container, but to be honest, I wouldn't rate it. Like I think you're fine just to do it like this. You'll be surprised how much you can fit in um, when you stack things like that. And then you can see the drawer below is all my denim as well. So that's kind of been done. Uh, the same way there except for that one there which kind of fits in the middle so um, file folding means you've got access and availability and sight to everything and that's super important if you want to get the most out of your wardrobe and you can see what you got okay I'm a big fan of baskets this one actually lives up on top 
Thea with its uh, counterpart on top of the wardrobe. Um, it's got belts and scarves. So again, a really easy way just to find everything. Keep it nice and out of the way. Uh, and you can find a whole bunch of baskets that fit in where you need it. So if you've got space in your wardrobe, um, find some baskets that can fit in the space that you need. But that's a really good storage for uh, belts, scarves, I've got um, socks and up in the other one, stockings, that kind of thing. So the other baskets that I've got up here are for some spare hangers. So I never keep hangers um, in my closet with my clothes. I keep them up separately. And then a little one for handbags as well. So all my little crossbody bags and things live in there. So utilizing that top space, this is kind of my um, pieces to shoot rack in the office. So yeah, I told you I've got a lot of wardrobe space here, but um, having utilizing that space up the top there for things that I don't need every day, but I can just pull down and grab is super useful as well. So I'm lucky enough to have another cupboard. <laughs> There's one over there too. Another cupboard in my office. This is all my skirts and again, some more shoes. So these shoes I probably wear less so they're not in the main wardrobe, but you can see how having the plastic containers, they actually go all the way up. So it just means I can stack way more in there than I would have been able to if they were just stacked on top of each other. Um, again, with the skirts, I've got the short skirts and I've got the pencil skirts and I've got all my sequin skirts categorized together um, down to longer skirts and then I've got boots underneath there as well. So just making sure that everything is categorized. Um, if I want to wear a skirt, this is the first place I come. So it just makes it really easy to find what I am looking for. So I know it looks like I've got a lot of clothes. I do, that's the reality of it, but they are super organized. It means I'm not having to rely on my own kind of thoughts and, and brain to go, oh, now what did I have? If I wanna wear a skirt, they're all in the one spot. If I wanna wear a dress, they're all in the one spot. But I do, as you guys probably know, I do go through quite often and clear it out. So I use my style personality, I use the rules. Have I worn it for a long time? Does it, su does it suit me still? Does it suit my lifestyle? Do I love it? Have I got three other things I wear instead of? Um, I use a whole bunch of guidelines to go through my wardrobes quite regularly and to make sure they're in tip top condition. Um, if you have any questions about the wardrobe tour, please let me know. Like I said, you can also grab the free ebook about how to declutter your wardrobe as well. Um, all my tips and tricks in there to keep a wardrobe looking pristine. Uh, yeah, that's my wardrobe in a nutshell. It's a big nutshell.